So you see me here with a roll of THHN. This is uh, something somebody, the supply house has cut off of a spool for me. And they roll it up like that. And that is the way that you've got to unroll it. You've got to walk backwards and just use both hands. Otherwise, it's going to get twisted up into a uh, rat's nest. And so what I'm doing is I'm unrolling each conductor. You can see I've got the white, the black, and the green. And I'm going to lay them out as long as I can, and then I'll take the end where I'm going to be pulling that's going to go into the conduit first, and I'll tape up a head onto that. But you've definitely got to walk backwards like I did in this video. So I've heard this referred to as a head before, but this is uh, just a stripped out piece, and I'll, I'll tape this all up, but I just went ahead and put one piece of tape on there to illustrate what I'm doing. I'm tapering where the wire is attached to the wire that I'm pulling so that it's it's got a smooth taper instead of just one big bunch right after the pull wire so it doesn't get hung up. So I've got four wires, couldn't get a red at the supply house, so I, uh, I'm using an orange, but I'll tape it red, St. Three Face, and then I, uh, I'm just gonna tape this whole thing up. I don't usually do this, we just usually have another guy hold it and we tape it all. <laughs> And then we'll, I'll just pull right there. Now, there's a whole lot of different ways to do this. I don't have a super long pull, so this should work fine. Here's my wire stretched all the way out. And stretching it out is just going to keep it from tangling as you pull it through. You just want to try to get all the curl out of it so that you don't get a kink. Uh, a lot of the best pulls are because they're fed well. So here's your trick for the week. Might be the trick for the month. Could be the trick for the quarter. But I've got about 60 feet of conduit going through this garage. And I'm gonna show you guys how to, there's the LB right there. I'm gonna show you guys how to get it. Get pull, Make that pull really easy on you when you've got PVC conduit or some type of conduit that's airtight. It wouldn't work with like a, like a flex like a metal flex that's not an airtight conduit. I'm going to be sucking a string. I'm going to use this poly line. This is a Southwire product, but it's poly string and it's kind of got a flatness to it. And that's so it doesn't destroy the conduit. Um, some, some of these other strings out there will kind of cut the conduit. They cut around the 90s when you're pulling it. Sorry for not showing you the full bucket, but this is available at Home Depot and Lowe's. It's just electrical pull string. This is 210 pound. If you're doing a really big pull, we would suck this string through and then put a mule tape on it. But on this one, I'm just gonna suck this through and then pull it right, down, right through for myself. I'm doing this one man right now, so I'm kind of having to do it a little differently. But this is the stuff you wanna use. And the reason again is the idea that as you pull it, along this 90 if you were using a like a different string you could actually cut the 90 with the pull string so the flatter the string and you, or, or you use a mule tape as we call it this is what we call mule tape and this one's real real uh, real used but it's it's got letters on it and it tells you the length you can go buy you got a really big pull you can go buy this stuff I like pulling this more than I like pulling rope and I definitely don't like pulling string for more than just a short little pull. I just have a little chunk of a Home Depot bag tied onto the end. I'm going to shove that up in the conduit and uh, this is work. I've done this three four hundred foot poles probably. Well 200, 250, 300 feet. Now just for illustrations purposes I've just kind of spooled the string out. Usually you got a guy feeding the string and a guy vacuuming. I'll just uh, tape this up and see if this works. There it goes. Sucking. And it's probably there now.
usually easier when you've got two people. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do this. And if you're an electrician that's been on some really big poles, then why are you even watching this? Because you know how to pull. But I did, I think I worked on one commercial solar job. That was the main thing that all the dudes argued about was every time we got ready to do a pull, they would just argue and argue and argue about how to tape it up. This is a way that almost works almost every time. If you've got like a bump or something, like right there, I don't know if you can see that, but that could catch. So I'm just gonna put a little more tape right there. And uh, it also matters how you run your conduit. I mean, the code says don't have more than 360 degrees or the 90s before you have your uh, pull boxes or LBs in the spot where you can get in and also don't have uh, don't have too small a pipe it's so tempting to run too small a pipe when you first start doing this that's why they run two inch one and a quarter to minimum but if that's right this thing should pull easily I should be able to pull this by myself but once again it's always a lot better if you have somebody feeding it to you thanks for watching guys the last minute pointers this is uh this is the same size wire this is a number eight this is eight three it's nm dash b but a lot of time you're going to hear it referred to as romax because that's the brand but this is uh the kind of wire that you'd use to wire a house the reason i'm not using this is because when you have these wires bundled together in a cable like this they can't pull as many amps so this is thhn is what we call it but it's got couple of different names uh, this is number eight THHN and you can the good thing about this stuff is you can call your supply house and you can tell them the lengths you want always get it a little longer and then uh, they'll cut you the different colors and that's and it's usually cheaper if you buy it at a supply house and it just saves a ton of time as opposed to buying a roll and spooling off individual pieces and doing individual cuts Supply House will usually sell you the wire for this, the roll price and you can just go pick up your cuts and they're ready to go. It's a big time saver. And the colors are pretty.